and welcome to Grandad Reviews. In this video, I'm going to have a look at some of the exposure assist tools in the Fuji cameras. And the two main ones I'm going to look at is the live highlight clipping warning that you can have set for stills photography and zebras for video. So on the Fuji XS10, if you've ever put your camera on and you've got that flashing black there, either in the sky or in this case it's on a light, that's your highlight clipping warning. And it's telling that those highlights, the whites are gone, completely, completely disappeared. And what I wanted to have a look was how accurate is it? When does it clip? When do you, is that really 100%? Is it fully clipped? So what I thought I'd do is a very quick test uh, using the scopes on an external monitor and we'll just see that when that starts flashing black is it actually at 100% clipping? So is it accurate and useful? The other one is a zebras in video. So if you've got video on and you've got those zebras flashing on there are they accurate? Because you can set those. If you go into the menu, you can set it from 100% all the way down to 50%. So you can use those, use those zebras to actually show you which bit you want to be exposed correctly. So if you're going for um, the skin tones on your subject, you might set it somewhere between 70 and 80. So as soon as the zebras appear on the skin you know you're at the correct exposure but are they accurate so we'll do the same test as well so let's uh, go up to the test setup and just do that and see what we get so uh, I'll show you the quick setup I'm going to sh use to show to s well to see if the highlight clipping warning in stills where it flashes the black where it's uh, going to clip on the highlights how accurate it is and what we're going to test it with is an external monitor that's got waveform so that we can actually see it so let me just show you the setup and this is the setup I've got a card with middle grey white and black my XS10 is aimed at and see if we can show that we've got an exposure set so that it's zero on the gauge using the middle grey as the exposure and then this is my shinobi with the waveforms and as you can see the middle grey one is basically on the zero the light isn't quite as even as I'd like now the whites above it by three stops and the blacks all the way down and minus four so what we're going to do is adjust the light until we start to get the blinkies as it's called on the screen so let's increase the light here it comes we'll get a basic full bit so there so that's flashing full blinks and if we look at the monitor we can see that it's the white one's right to the top so let's bring that down and we can see on the monitor when it's going to hit. So hopefully you can see the waveform, the right side of the waveform, which is the highlights going up. Just the top of the white card is starting to blink now because that's where most of the light is. Waveform's not quite at the, fully at the top yet. It's there. Well, yes, it seems it's pretty accurate. If I go all the way, so the whole, then you see that the whites are totally crushed. So we bring it down. You see that waveform come down, and it's about about there. So yeah, I would say it's pretty accurate. And if you look on the 
screen we're about nearly two stops over the middle grey we go to completely so just yeah two and a half two and a third stops for the whole lot so looking at that I would say that yes the actual highlight clipping warning in stills is pretty well accurate when that waveform hits the top where all the whites are completely clipped it is flashing black I think what we'll try next to see in video where the zebras the settings you can set on them are accurate as well so let's have a go at that right so we've got the uh, same kind of test again we've got the camera set up we've got in video so what we're going to look at is the zebras so we've got at the moment the zebra is set at 50 percent so uh, let's uh, see what uh, what occurs so on the back of the screen again we're looking at that uh, test card the two stops stops under with no zebra showing on the monitor as you can see as you can see that we're on 40 percent on the whites so what we're going to do we'll turn this up until we get our zebras so we've got zebras all in the whites and on the monitor it's actually showing 60 percent so let's just bring these down so yeah we're showing 60 percent on the monitor right let me change the zebras to 80 percent let's see what we get there so The zebras are on 80% now. We've got most of the zebras there. And what we've got here. Yeah, we're looking around 80% there. Slightly over. So similar to what the 50% uh, was. Let's just try it at 60%. Bring this down. And we're running, yep, the line's through the 60%. So 60% seems accurate. And so does the 80. Let's do 100%. So come on back up here. And there we go. And on the screen. Yep, we're at 100%. So yes, I would say the Zebra's on the XS10. I would assume all the other cameras would be the same, it seems pretty accurate. Instead of 50, it's just a little bit over. 60, it's about the same. 80% is correct, 100% is correct. So uh, that was my quick test. And looking at that, you can trust the zebras and you can trust the highlight clipping in stills. So let's uh, go to the conclusion. Right, we've had a look at that uh, test setup and the results. And yeah, for the highlight clipping in stills, as soon as that goes black, that portion of the sky or whatever is that white is crushed. It's gone. It's 100%. There's no more detail left in it. So you do know that that's clipped. So if you want to protect that, then you can change your exposure to get rid of that black highlight clipping uh, zone. So in that sense, yep, they're right. And on the zebras... Yeah, you set the setting in the camera and they're basically spot on. So if you want to have the exposure on a subject's face or that area, you can set your zebras at 70, 80% and once they start appearing on the skin, you know you're at the correct exposure for that part of the, the subject. Or if you want to not lose the sky, you can probably could set your zebra somewhere between 80 and 90%. And once they start to flash in the sky, you know that you've got a little bit of safety above it. You're not actually completely crushed them out and, you might, and you'll be able to recover them. So, yeah, in the Fuji cameras, as far as I can see, they're accurate, they're set correct and they work well. So I would use them. They're a, a useful exposure tool along with the histogram. Uh, the exposure meter itself can be fooled uh, with 
shadows and different lighting conditions but with the zebras or the highlight clip in and the histogram you should have a, a good idea of what, if your exposure is in the right place or where you want it to be so if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up that helps the channel if you want to see more videos like this hit that subscribe button till later see you next time <laughs>